Hello, I'm Dr. Eddie Davlar and I'm co-director together with Dr. Emmy Miburn of the MSc Psychology Conversion Course. The, co the conversion course is for applicants who have a degree in something non-psychological, such as engineering, computing, or biology. In order to enter our course, you have to have at least a 2-2 or equivalent in your prior degree, GCSE of Maths, C or above, and English language. Ideally, you have some uh, prior study in research methods, and prior study means that you will have information uh, that you have learned about research methods using SPSS. I will come back to that a bit later. If you do not have this type of prior study, we offer you short courses on research methods, either online or face to face. If you have done a, a research methods degree, some years ago, we could provide you an entry exam to demonstrate that you still have the skills available. If you're not sure about what should be included in a prior degree, uh, feel free to contact us at uh, psychologypg at bbk.ac.uk and we can uh, discuss your application over email. Now, what is the structure of our course? The mode of attendance is either one year full time, which is four evenings a week, or two years part-time in two evenings a week. So all the classes are in the evening from Monday through Thursday at 6 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Uh, the term periods are for the first term October, November, December, and the second term runs from January to March. There's also a summer term, but mostly in the summer term you're focusing uh, mainly on your research dissertation project, and which already started at the beginning of the academic year. The dissertation is typically due in late summer. The course is accredited by the British Psychological Society. And the British Psychological Society, uh, when you have um, followed an accredited course, you can apply for a graduate basis for a chartered membership. You can go onto the website of the BPS at careers.bps.org.uk and you can find all kinds of routes where you could go into after you've done a conversion course. So after you've done this course, you will have the ability to, to apply for a GBC. And that opens the doors to a range of, of uh, directions. So it's useful to have a look at this particular website. Now, the, the course is accredited based on a number of modules and, and, and topics that need to be covered. And these are biological psychology, Quantum psychology, developmental psychology, individual differences, social psychology, conceptual and historical issues in psychology, research methods, and an empirical project. This is the same curriculum as for undergraduate psychology students. And so what we do here at Perbeck is both the MSc conversion students and the undergraduate students are listening to the same lecture material as is required by the BPS. So how does your course, the MC Conversion course, look like uh, in a timetable? If you would do the full-time mode, you will have um, Monday through Thursday of both terms uh, lectures in the evenings. And here are the, the modules that are presented here. So this is for the full-time mode. There are no lectures or uh, events on the Friday. If you would do the part-time mode, you would do it over two years. And in the first year, you only have the Monday and the Thursday scheduled for lectures. And in the second year, you will have the Tuesday and the Wednesday scheduled for lectures. On top of the lectures, uh, we also have seminars for all students, part-time and full-time. And these seminars are to, uh, are there to deepen the knowledge in the of the lectures. And the modules involved in the seminars are neuroscience, social psychology, development psychology, and individual differences. The seminars are once in, in the midterm. <clears throat> All the modules are assessed, and assessment can either consist of written essays, most of these uh, modules have essays, there are lab reports to be written for research methods. There are also exams for research methods. 
and there is the the larger 10,000 words project dissertation that needs to be handed in at the end of summer. For the seminars, you, you, uh, we provide you with formative feedback on summaries that you've created about the papers. And in the seminars, you will discuss these papers with your fellow students. So what kind of advice can we give you uh, for the application or even choosing to um, do this particular conversion course? So is this course for you? If you already hold a BPS accredited psychology degree, this particular course is not for you. If you are just curious about psychology, we have a range of certificate modules that you can choose instead of a full MSc degree. However, if you aspire to pursue a career in psychology, either academically or professionally, then this is the course for you. Also, if you um, if it facilitates your desired career path, either managerial or research-wise, then taking this conversion course is also a good opportunity for you. <clears throat> what is important in your application? Make sure it's complete. Information that is missing could delay the decisions um, of, about your application. Now, one part that people tend to not provide all the information for is a transcript. The transcript of your prior degree is very important. The transcript involves uh, includes the module names plus the grades that you obtained for those degrees. And this is especially important if your prior degree included research methods or statistics, or both. Based on your transcript, we can uh, make a decision whether or not uh, you, would, you have the relevant prior information. So the transcript is key in your application. Your supporting statement is also key. You should mention any courses or certificates that you're taking or about to take that is not already mentioned in other parts of the application. So if you have taken a certificate in research methods uh, and you've uh, completed that, then you would, you would have that mentioned in your application. But if you're about to enroll in a um, certificate module, then that would be uh, mentioned in a supporting statement. And that will help us um, make a decision on your application. What about the mode of attendance, part-time, full-time? What we advise people to do is really consider if they have enough time to do the full-time version. Four evenings a week is quite taxing. And especially if you have to write a number of assessments uh, for all those modules. So if you are having a full-time job, then we recommend you to uh, choose the part-time mode of attendance. It is possible that you might start with a full-time mode and then um, before the, the uh, term one ends to switch to the part-time mode. If you, if you want to do that, that's possible, but you need to let us know as quickly as possible before the term one ends that you want to do this. There's no deadline for applications. Um, you can apply throughout the year, but we recommend you to apply early. If there's anything that we may want to contact you with, or if we want to know whether you have the relevant background information, then the earlier you apply, the better we can uh, work together to have your application all, all sorted out. If you have any further questions about our MSc conversion, feel free to email us at psychologypg.acuk.